Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Jellyfin on Open Media Vault and Portainer. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your Open Media Vault and I already have uh, Portainer loaded up with my uh, volumes. So now the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up PowerShell and run that as an administrator. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do in PowerShell is, once we're in PowerShell, just go ahead and open up this website right here. I'll have all the links in the description, the Jellyfin server uh, Docker image, and the installation guide here. So, basically what we're going to want to do is go ahead and SSH into our server. And we can do that by just typing into PowerShell SSH, um, root, at, and then your Open Media Vault IP, local IP. So for me, that's uh, 192.168.1.199. So just go ahead and plug that in here. So 192.168.1.199. Of course, it will be different for you. And just go ahead and hit enter. And go ahead and just type in your Open Media Vault root or admin password there. And once you type in the password, you should get prompted by this here. So now we're just going to go ahead and pull the latest Jellyfin Docker image here. So you can just hit the little copy button, go back in here and right click and go ahead and hit enter. Now I've already installed the latest version, so it already knows that image is up to date. But for you, it will pull the latest images if you have not already installed that. All right, so now we can just go ahead and minimize PowerShell. We won't really be needing it for the rest of this time. And we can open up our portainer. Now, you could also do this in the Compose section of Open Media Vault, but I just like Portainer uh, more. So what we're going to do in Portainer is, once you're in Home, just go ahead and hit Local. And the first thing we're going to want to do is hit Volumes here, and hit Add Volume. And we'll just call this Jellyfin underscore Config, just like that. And we can go ahead and create that volume. So now that that volume has been created, we could go ahead and go into containers. And now this is when we're gonna want to uh, create a new container. So just go ahead and hit add container here. And we could just name this uh, Jellyfin here. All right, so the first thing we see here is image registry is fine. We're gonna go ahead and go to our Linux server.io, this website here, it's also in the description. And we're going to go ahead and highlight Linux server slash Jellyfin here. And just go ahead and copy that. Open up Portainer again and right click and hit paste on that. And now it will pull the latest Linux server build for Docker. All right. So keep this enabled. Keep all this enabled. This is all good. And what we're going to want to do in here is hit network and change this from bridge to host. Everything else should be fine in here. Then we can head over to ENV and create two environment variables here. And in our uh, Docker image Linux server here, we can scroll down here and see Docker Compose. So let's just go ahead and copy the PU uh, ID and go into Portainer and paste that in there and set that value to 1000. Same thing for the PG ID. Go ahead and set that value to 1000 as well in, port in um, our environment variables. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and go to volumes here. And first volume we're going to create is slash config. And this is where we're going to select that volume we just created, jellyfin underscore config here. And this is just where the config files will be stored on our server. Next thing we're going to do is hit map additional file or additional volume, sorry. And now we're going to want to head over to our open media vault here. Now, what I like to do is drag that out just like that and open it in split screen kind of like this here so that we can see both at the same time. And now we're going to go ahead and add over our media volumes. Now, if you haven't created this yet, you can go into open media vault file systems. Create your file systems here for your disks. 
shared folders and create your shared folders on the disk you want. And then you should have these folders where we're going to store our media for Jellyfin. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to here to container and we'll just name this slash movies and change this from volume to bind. Now we're going to go ahead and copy the shared folder directory of movies here or if you don't have movies, maybe you only have TV shows, just go, go ahead and copy that. Just name it correctly. So I have four volumes that I need to map. So I'm going to map an additional volume. We'll call that slash shows. And that will be the next one. Go ahead and do the same thing, copying that. And change it to bind and paste. Another volume, and this will be slash music here. And I'm going to go to my music and copy that directory here, change it to bind and paste. And the last one is slash recordings, like TV recordings. Put that in there, change it to bind and put recordings in there as well. All right, paste that. And now I have all of my volumes created. And the last thing we can do is just go ahead and go to our restart policy. And I like to change this to unless stopped. So it never stops uh, just randomly without me telling it to. Now, at this point, we are basically done and we can go ahead and hit deploy the container. OK, so now the container should successfully be running. So we can see Jellyfin. It's up and running. We can go ahead and view our logs. And. Yep, everything looks good here. All right, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is to open up Jellyfin. We're going to go to 192 or the IP address of your Open Media Vault or server. And go ahead and make a colon and put 8096. Now that is the Jellyfin port there. And go ahead and just hit enter. And we should go into Jellyfin here. All right, so once you go to your specified port and uh, server IP address, you should get this screen, welcome to Jellyfin, and this shows you did everything correctly. Go ahead and just hit next, and you can go ahead and create a username and password here. All right, so now that you've created the user account, go ahead and add the media libraries. So I'm gonna add my movies first, and go ahead and click plus on the folders and slash movies here. And go ahead and hit okay. And now uh, you can basically just leave all of this set to default. Just go ahead and hit OK on that. And we could add another media library. Music will be my second one. And then hit slash music or whichever one you choose. Go ahead and hit OK again. Now we can go ahead and add another media library. And that would be shows for me. And go ahead and click the corresponding um, directory and hit OK again. And then my last one would be recordings. Uh, recordings. We'll just call it recordings on the display name. And put this to mix movies and shows here. OK. And then hit, uh, and then map this to recordings. OK. OK. Cool. OK, so now we got all of our Directory setup, library setup, we can go ahead and hit next. And you could change this to whatever you like. Mine's English United States. Go ahead and hit next. You can enable both of these if you want to. Um, I will enable this so I can access it from outside of my home and allow remote connections from the server. And hit next and finish. Now it will prompt you to sign in with your account. All right, so let's go ahead and hit sign in. And we should be all signed in here. And I did put one movie on here. So let's go ahead and see if we can load it up here. And fetching additional data. This is the first time we have booted this up. But it does seem like it will be working here. Yep. We got it all working. Before I get a copyright check, let me head out of there. And yeah, that's basically it. That is how you install Jellyfin on Portainer and open media vault so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to comment like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this goodbye